So you want to use Lambda. Lambda lets you run your code anytime, anywhere. You just upload your code and run it in the cloud and you don't need to worry about provisioning any servers. I personally use Lambda for my web app grub guide. Whenever you click the submit button on the survey filling out what kind of food you want to eat, a Lambda function processes that data and also talks to the database in order to give the response back to the user. If you've tried developing a Lambda function for more than five minutes, you've run into the problem of how to actually do it. You've probably tried to use the built-in IDE in the AWS console, but quickly realized there's actually some pretty big drawbacks. What if you want to import a package or set a breakpoint? What if you just want to use VS Code? Today we're going to be talking about how to drastically speed up development time by developing Lambda functions locally in VS Code. Before I learned to develop Lambda functions locally, I just didn't use them because it wasn't worth the time to manually upload my packages and deal with an IDE I'm not familiar with. The good news is that thanks to the AWS toolkit extension for VS Code, Lambda functions are actually really easy to develop, debug, and deploy locally. Hi, I'm Dylan, a cloud engineer living in Bend, Oregon. Today, we're going to install the AWS Toolkit for VS Code and then build and deploy a Lambda function locally. I am assuming that you already have an AWS account and that you already have VS Code downloaded and we're just going to start from there. So open up a new VS Code window. Um, I have a folder I made called Local Lambda, so I opened that up. And we, in order to develop Lambda locally, we need to start by downloading the AWS Toolkit extension. And so we're gonna come over to these little blocks, that's our extensions, and we're just gonna type in AWS Toolkit. And it's gonna be this top guy up here. We're gonna click install. And then what will happen is you're gonna get this AWS guy right here. And so we're gonna click on that. We can see, okay, we're good. It's open. I just deleted mine and reopened it up. So there's a chance there's gonna be a little bit more setup for you to do, possibly entering in your credentials for AWS. Uh, if you run into those problems, just look it up on Google. There's plenty of documentation out there. This is where you can see all of your current functions. So these are all of my Lambda functions. If I already had a Lambda function built, I could right click I could import all the code and this would import a folder of all that code so I could start developing on it locally. But for today, we're actually gonna create a new function. Um, and so what you're gonna do, we'll exit out of this. If you hit Command Shift P on a Mac, that's gonna bring up the command palette. And if you start typing in AWS, create new SAM application. There we go. Uh, Node.js, uh, let's do 12 and then do uh, we're just going to start with your basic Hello World SAM application. We're going to do it in this local folder. You could choose a different one if you wanted, but we're just going to keep it right here. And we're going to call this Lambda Local. Uh, let's call it My First. My First. Great, you can call that anything you want. And so once you hit enter, this is going to be doing some stuff for us. It's going to be creating some documents. Oh, one thing as well with AWS Toolkit is you need to have Docker installed. And so you could be running into some errors with Docker. Uh, so make sure that's um, running. If it's up and you're using Mac, you should have this whale with the cargo boxes rocking and rolling. You can always restart it if you're having issues. So that's another prereq. What we're going to do, we're going to check out the temp go back to our files, we were in uh, AWS, and you'll notice this was empty, but now we have the bare bones of a serverless application. And part of that is a Lambda function. And so what we have here is, this is a working Lambda function. And so let me exit out of these guys. Uh, if we, let me open up a terminal as well. In here is where we're gonna put all of our code, for instance, if we just want to keep this really simple, we could say, hello world, this is my first local, locally developed Lambda. Great, we're just gonna start with a simple message. If you guys are VS Code users, just go ahead and click F5, and that is gonna also invoke your function. Uh, it's gonna take a second, Error mounting, error mounting. You know, I get that error every once in a while, but then the debugger will go ahead and attach. Uh, and if you know what's up with that, I'd love to know. Um, 
and then you can see here message hello this is my first locally developed lambda and that's going to do the same thing and uh, just like you know you would normally do if you want to deal with packages you're going to do npm install down here uh, you're going to download all your packages it's all going to go in this folder and then when you're ready to deploy this to the aws cloud you're going to go over here you're going to go sam uh, you're gonna go Sam deploy. I'm missing stack name deploy guide. Okay, let's do deploy guided. So we're gonna go Sam deploy guided. All right. And this is gonna run us through um, just some simple things. Sam app, this is gonna be our local Lambda. AWS region, I'm in US West 2, which is Oregon, uh, but you can do whatever you want. Um, so we're gonna deploy our changes. It's gonna create an IM role. Um, that is okay. Save, uh, enter, enter. And now what's happening, you can see a little file is created, but now it's packaging up our function and it's sending it off to the AWS cloud. And in a second, we're gonna go up to AWS and actually look at our application in the cloud. Um, okay, so it's creating, it's doing all this fun stuff. Uh, as it's creating, I'm gonna go ahead and start logging in to the uh, AWS console. Let's go to the management console and uh, user. And this is great. Like this is a game changer just to get some code up and running. Um, it's just super simple. Uh, eight, six, seven, seven, six, oh, okay. Uh, and it just makes it really a joy to develop these functions. Uh, we're gonna come over to Lambda and let's see if this is deployed already. Okay, successfully updated local Lambda. So what you're gonna do, you get to Lambda, you're gonna come, it may pop you in on dashboard, it may go to functions, but you're gonna to come to applications. And in your application should be whatever you called it. So this is local Lambda, and then you're gonna come down to our hello world function. And if we look at the code, we should see exactly what we wrote. Let's see, let's check out app.js. Uh, maybe it needs a double click, there it is. This is my first locally developed Lambda. Um, and this IDE, like I said earlier, uh, it's really not great. You can't access the terminal, you know, you can't use NPM. You have to, you know, zip up your dependencies, put them up. If you want to learn how to do it, great. But for me and for so many others, it's just so much easier to do all the development in VS Code. Maybe if there's a slight change, for instance, if I just wanted to say um, version two, version two, I wanted to make a very simple change. I could deploy that change and then when I test it, you don't have to worry about this since we don't have inputs. You know, it would it would update your Lambda function. And so this can work for very simple things. We go over to test, invoke, and we're gonna see version, oh, did I not write two? Yeah, you're right, it's just version. You know, you can do quick things like that, you can do tests, and then also, once you're here, this is where you can set up your triggers. So for instance, this already has an API gateway attached, but let's say you wanted to do this every hour, you could set up a trigger. Um, I believe it's event bridge, yep, it's event bridge. You can um, create a new rule that is going to, you know, do a pattern. Oh you know, every day or whatever that is. This is where you can start building out that functionality for your Lambda function. I hope this lets you cut down on your Lambda function development time drastically and lets you focus on the code. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments and I'll do my best to respond quickly. If you wanna learn more about technology that enables business, start right now by subscribing and clicking the bell so we can learn together. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.